Robert Hass has published many books of poetry. I said that with delight and sarcasm, including Field Guide, Praise, Human Wishes, and Sun Under Wood, as well as books of essays on poetry, 20th century pleasures, a voice, pardon me. Uh, has translated many of the works of Nobel Prize winning Polish poet Czesław Miłosz, and he edited selected poems of Thomas Tronstrummer, The Essential Haiku, Poet's Choice, Poems for Everyday Life. Many of these books are very important to me. Uh, he was the guest editor of the 2001 edition of Best American Poetry. His essay collection, Now and Then, which includes his Washington Post articles, was published in April 2007. A U.S. Poet Laureate, 1995-1997, uh, his deep commitment to environmental issues led him to found River of Words, an organization that pro promotes environmental and arts education in affiliation with the Library of Congress Center for the Book. As is chairman of uh, Rouse Board of Directors and judges their annual International Environmental Poetry and Art Contest for Youth. He also wrote the introduction of the poetry collection of River of Words, Young Poets and Artists on the Nature of Things. He's board member of International Rivers Network. He's chosen as Educator of the Year by the North American Association of Environmental Education and in 2005 elected the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. His collection of poems entitled Time and Materials won the National Book Award and the Pulitzer Prize and the Northern California Ten Books Association Award. He wrote the introduction to new edition of Whitman Selected Poems. His most recent volume entitled The Apple Trees at Alema, New and Selected Poems, was published by Echo spring of this year. He's currently at, uh, at work on a collection of selected essays. Honor, my privilege, my pleasure to introduce you to As soon as he landed there, he was blinded. 
right on shipboard. He was blinded and blinded. He was brought to the monks and he dwelt there as long as he lived and afterward he was buried. It befitted him very worthily for he was a worthy man at the west end of the chapel, very near the steeple, under the church porch. His soul is with Christ. <laughs> 1036. So this poem is called The Origin of Cities. It begins, it's not about Brenda, it's about the, uh, the Queen Goddess who became the Mediterranean Goddess of Cities. Um, she shows up all over the place. I guess we started getting grown by the Sumerians who became the Parthians, who became the Iraqis. And they passed this on to Rome and then once Rome had it, went straight into Archer Daniel's Midlands. <laughs> but the Greek goddess, Ceres, or Hera, was, became the goddess emblem on the coins of all the cities. And she's the, she's the goddess of the harvest, but she now has a, a crown of beautiful metalwork that uh, imitates the city walls. She's, she's still here dancing in Oakland. She, she is first seen dancing which is a figure not for art or prayer or the arousal of desire, but for action simply. Her breastband is copper, her crown imitates the city walls. Though she draws us to her like a harbor or a river mouth, she sends us away, a figure of the outward. So the old men grown lazy in patrician ways, lay out cash for adventures, imagining a rich return, they buy futures, and their slaves haunt the waterfronts for news of ships. The young come from the villages dreaming. Pleasure and power draw them. They are employed to make inventories and grow very clever, multiplying in their heads, deft at the use of letters. When they are bored, they write down old songs from the villages, and the cleverest make new songs in the old forms, describing the pleasures of the city, their mistresses, old shepherds, and simpler times. And the temple where the farmer grandfathers of the great merchants worshipped, the dim temple across from the market, which was once a stone altar in a clearing in the forest, where the night watch pisses now against a column in the moonlight is holy to them. The wheat mother, their goddess of sweaty sheets, of what is left in the air when that glint's beauty turns the corner of love's punishment and the racking of desire. They make songs about that. They tell stories of heroes and brilliant lust among the gods. These are amusements. She dances. The ships go forth. Slaves and peasants labor in the fields. Main soldiers ate monkeys for coins outside the wine shops. The craftsmen work in bronze and gold. Accounts are kept carefully. What goes out, what returns. This, uh, then there's this, a suite of poems called Spring Drawings. Um, I had in mind, Spring Drawings is a translation of the term shunka, which is the word term used for Japanese pornographic woodcuts. <laughs> <laughs> there, in, in most of the there are kind of these immense genitals right in the center of the drawing, surrounded by very delicate swirls of, of silk, you know, with night skies and plum blossoms. In the middle, it looks like a, looks like a blind bowl is being eaten by a very sleepy turtle. <laughs>
drive from the airport and a chat with her mother in the shower, which is ritual cleansing, and a passage through water to mark transition. I walked up a mountain in the summer evening, away from, not toward, as if the garden roses were a little hobby of the dead, as if the deer pellets and the pale grass and the wavering moon and the ronger, as they used to say, upping the ante of heaven, were admirable completely but only as common nouns of a plainer intention, moon, ship, sky, as if spirit attended to plainness only, the more complicated forms exhausting it, tossed off great stems becoming crystal chandeliers, as if radiance were the meaning of meaning, and beauty and justice responsible to daydream only for the strict beauty of denial, but not only, oh, sorry, as if justice were responsible to daydream, not only for the strict beauty of denial, but as a felt need to reinvent the inner form of wishing. Only the force of a brushstroke saves the lilacs from pathos. The he's and she's of our comedy may or may not get together, but if they are to get at all, then the interval created by it, to which mind and breath attend, Nervous as the grazing animals, the first brushes painted, has become habitable space, lived in beyond wishing. Vintage. They had agreed, walking into a delicatessen on 6th Avenue, that their friends' affairs were focused and saddened by massive projection. Movie screens in their childhood were immense, and someone had declared that need was unlovable. The delicatessen had a chicken salad with chunks of cooked chicken in a creamy basil mayonnaise a shade lighter than the coast range in August. It was gray outside, February, eating with plastic forks, walking and talking in the sleety afternoon. They passed the house where Juna Borns was still reportedly making sentences. Basho said, avoid adjectives of scale. You will love the world more and desire it less. <laughs> and there were other propositions to consider. Childhood, vista vision, a pair of wet mobile lids on the screen, at least eight feet long. On the corner, a blind man with one leg was selling pencils. He must have received a disability check but it didn't feed his hunger for public agony, and he sat on the sidewalk, slack-jawed with a tin cup, his face and opaque eyes turned upward in a look of blind, questing pathos, half Joe, half mole. With the good Christ of Manhattan have restored his sight and two-thirds of his left leg? Or would he have healed his heart and left him there in a mutilated body, and what would that piece feel like? It makes you want, at this point, a quick cut or a reaction shot. The taxis rivered up 6th Avenue. A little sunlight touched the steeple of the first Magyar Reformed Church. In fact, the clerk in the liquor store was appalled. Oh, no, he said, that Cabernet can't be drunk for another five years. <laughs> Spring rain. Now the rain is falling freshly in the intervals between sunlight a Pacific squall started no one knows where, drawn east as the drifts of warm air make a channel. It moves its own way, like water or the mine, and spills this rain passing over. The Sierras will catch it as last snow flurries before summer, observed only by the wakened marmots at 10,000 feet. And we will come across it again, Larkspur and Penstemon sprouting along a creek above Sonora Pass next August, where the snow melt will have melted into Dead Man Creek, and the creek spilled into the Stanislaus, and the Stanislaus into the San Joaquin, and the San Joaquin into the slow salt marshes of the bay. That's not the end of it. The gray jays of the mountains eat Larkspur seeds, which can't propagate otherwise. To simulate the process, you have to soak gathered seeds all night in the acids of coffee and then score them gently with a very sharp knife before you plant them in the garden. You might use what was left of the coffee we drank in Lisa's kitchen, visiting. There were orange poppies on the table in a clear glass vase, stained near the bottom to the color of sunrise. The unstated theme was the blessedness of gathering. 
and the blessing of dispersal. It made you glad for beauty like that, casual and intense.